This is Madden 23, but it's a board game. The top four NFL teams from last season will be competing to see who can make it to the finish line. Since the Chiefs won the Super Bowl, they will always go first. Their dice roll is a seven. We'll slide them there. The Eagles are up next, and they also get a seven. The 49ers will be rolling third. They get a 10. That'll get them an early first place lead. And lastly, the Bengals get an eight. That'll put them in second. We're now into competition one, which will gain a mystery advantage to the winner. All four teams are competing to score a touchdown the fastest, and don't worry, there's no user input that is going to make this competition unfair. The Chiefs, look at this. They're moving downfield a little too easily. And they just punched in their first score at the 52nd mark in the first quarter. I'm not going to lie, that might be pretty tough to beat. That is until Joe Burrow deciding to pull off a masterpiece to give the Bengals a chance here. And just under two minutes, Cole Joe goes deep to Jamar. And they've taken over first place at a minute 50 seconds left in the first quarter. The Eagles and 49ers ended up killing each other with interceptions in each of their first drives, giving Cincinnati the first mystery advantage, which is an automatic 10 spots. This will move them all the way around to spot 18. We are now back onto the dice roll. The Chiefs get a 9, putting them at spot 16. Philly's going to end up with a 6, and they're going to just barely turn this corner here. San Francisco with a 9. They've had the best dice luck so far. And oh, look at this. They're going to hit the ladder, moving them up an extra 21 spots to spot number 40. Last but not least, Cincinnati, who's looking pretty good, gets an 11. That's going to put them in second at spot number 20. 29. Challenge number two is going to be the furthest kick return. On the line, another mystery advantage. Kansas City got Pacheco back there. He can get some kick returns. I know that for a fact. Oh, the broken tackle. That's decent, you know. We'll have an official score at 28 yards for him. Oh, wait, Covey. I forgot about Covey. He's going to be next. We know what he got to be. This ain't it, Chief. He's not even going to get close. Eagles are eliminated from this one already. Wait, who's San Francisco got back here? Oh, it's Ray Ray McLeod. He's taking it from deep. This man can kick return. I know that for a fact, but not right now. Final chance. Cincinnati's going to need something pretty big to win back-to-back -back challenges. Yeah. Chris Evans isn't getting it. Congratulations, Kansas City Chiefs. Mm -hmm. They have just unlocked a bonus dice roll for this next round. They're currently in third place, so this is much needed. First dice spin for KC is going to be six, and their advantage dice roll will give them an extra seven. That'll get them tied up with Cincinnati at spot 29. Here we go with the Eagles dice roll. Ten. Here we go, San Fran with your next one. Already in first, gonna add eight on top of that, moving them to spot number 48. Cincinnati is going to pull off a nine, and that'll keep them in a solid second place. For challenge number three, instead of a dice roll, we will be doing a full season franchise simulation. For every win that they get, that is one point on the board they get to move forward. And we are now off through the regular season. Whew. Excited to see how things cook up. Oh my goodness, look at this with 15 wins. The Philadelphia Eagles. Let's slide them to spot 38. That's big. Just below them, the Kansas City Chiefs with 13. Putting them at spot 42. Oh boy. Imagine if they got one more win. They'd be all the way down at spot nine. After that, the sixth highest seeded team was the 49ers with 11 wins. They're now at 59. Jeez, they're cruising. Like Cincinnati. Oh, they missed the playoffs with nine wins. What a disappointment. They're still in second place, though. It's spot 47 on the game board. That'll put us directly into challenge number four, and this is going to be a different one. The first team whose card I pull that is a 90 overall is going to get that mystery advantage. I tell you what, I haven't opened up packs in forever. I don't know what my odds are. I might be here all day. That's an ultimate legend. It's an 87. Oh, boy. I don't know if I should have done this. Maybe I'll open up an AKA pack. It's a 93 punter. Jeez, that's kind of decent, no? Hey, wait a second, Honda. Let me sell this real quick. I really don't even know what the heck I'm opening at this point. Like, is this good? It's an 88. Oh, it's a 90. It's the Eagles. Congratulations, Philly. Reed Blankenship coming up huge. And this mystery advantage was a big one. A one die roll that'll let the Eagles move vertically on the game board. This is insane. Now, this could actually backfire looking at the board. If they roll a one or a six, they'll be taking a snake all the way down. I low-key don't know if Philadelphia actually wanted this, but let's go ahead here. The moment of truth, Philadelphia rolls a one. No, Reed, you did your team so dirty. My bad, I'm sorry. That's sliding Philly all the way down to spot nine. But don't worry though, because there are some insane advantages coming up in the upcoming challenges that can get them right back in the game. Back to the dice for KC in 11. That's a pretty big one there and a nice safe spot at 53. The Eagles are up next. I don't know what to tell them. They get an eight. I feel so bad though. 
because they want a challenge and it just <laughs> completely backfired. But that's the game. After them, San Fran. Been quiet, but the board's been treating them good. And that nine will continue their comfortable lead. Cincinnati now gonna roll a three. It's the worst that we've seen yet. Oh no, wait, the three is bad. They're down to spot 11 and have just Take it last place. What a terrible round for the Eagles and the Bengals. Challenge number five is going to be a 40-yard dash. Each team's going to get their fastest player. We're going to have Jamar Chase taking on Danny Gray, taking on Quez Watkins, taking on McCall Hardman. We got some speed here. All runners seem to be ready. On your mark, get set, go! Look at that. All right. You can tell the acceleration matters. This is looking pretty close. Oh, McCool Hardman. He has done it and won a huge advantage for Kansas City. Kansas City will be able to swap positions with first place or move 12 spaces. Kansas City and San Francisco will be trading spots, giving KC the new lead. On top of that, they're going to be able to roll. They get an eight. That'll bump them up in quite a good area. Philly rolls a seven. And let's be real, they needed that last challenge. They're at spot 24. San Fran, after getting swapped, rolls snake eyes. Oh no, they hit the snake and they're down to spot 34. Oh, it just keeps getting worse for him. And Cincy, who is at 11, gets a 7, slide him to 18. This is a monumental lead for Kansas City. Let's see if they mess this up or not. I am now simming through another season of franchise. The team who has the single player with the most sacks will get a bonus advantage. This could be a pretty good one, too. The Chiefs' number one sack leader has... Only nine and a half. Doubt that's going to cut it. Philly's number one guy, 11 and a half from Brandon Graham. Yeah, boy. That's now the score to beat. San Francisco, you know who they have. And he's showing up big Nick Bosa with 13, giving San Fran the lead. Can anybody from Cincy top 13? <laughs> No. All right. San Francisco just gained an advantage. This is going to be highly questionable. I just realized for this advantage. Every snake counts as a ladder for San Francisco. And they're on one right now. So they're sliding back up to spot 55. Back to a little bit of dice. KC gets four. 80 is a safe spot for Kansas City. Philly's going to pick up a four themselves. That's going to hit 28. Oh, look at this. They are getting back in the mix up to 54. San Fran. Rolling themselves a four. There are too many of them. Bringing them to spot 59. And Cincinnati getting a six. That'll move them up a little bit, but they're still in dead last. This next challenge is a little bit weird, but it could be kind of fun. We're going to be heading into online games until our opponent is one of these four teams. That team will gain the mystery advantage. That was easy. Okay, look at that. Our first try. We get Philadelphia. That took no time at all. Let me see if I can get a kick return real quick while we're in here. Nope. Okay. They will be awarded with going directly to the nearest ladder and moving up, bringing them to spot 79, one spot away from Kansas City. Uh-oh, things are heating up. Kansas City rolled a three. Philly is going to get a five, which will give them the new lead. San Fran going to pull out a five. That is not good. They just hit another snake. And then the Bengals, they get a four. These dice rolls are really low. Oh, but hold on. That's a ladder, and that's going to put them up to spot 54. Everybody, I need you to pay attention because this next challenge can win the game for anybody. Each team will have one play from the one yard line for every yard they get they get to move one place on the board but the kicker is they're only getting one try kansas city's gonna be up first they decide to run the ball interesting they're gonna move forward seven spots that save call might work out for them they are now in the 90s san francisco is up next remember these plays are completely random on offense and defense that's nothing brock purdy sold san francisco is not budging it's okay rocky you go when you feel like. This might be Cincinnati's only chance to get into this game. They need a big play and they need a ton of yards. And they throw it fairly deep. That was quite nice. That was 20 yards. Maybe 19. I'll double check on that. We're going to have an official yard marker at the 19, which will move them to spot 47, which I don't know if that's going to be enough. Now, here's the thing, boys, as we get set up. Philadelphia is going to be up next. And if they gain 16 yards or more, straight up, they win. There is a ton on the line right now. And unfortunately, I think they're out on goal line. Okay, you know what? I mean, that was eight yards. That's going to keep them in contention. That's going to put them right at spot 92. And them and the Chiefs are going to have a chance to win this with a little bit of luck. And this is going to go down right now. Kansas City is going to get their dice roll. And they're landing on four. Bringing them up to spot 94. No! They hit the snake and go down to spot 48, putting them back into third. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. The Philadelphia Eagles need an eight to win. They get 
89. Congratulations, Philadelphia. You're the Madden 23 Gay Boy Champion. Drop a like for another one of these, and you already know, subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. God bless. Oh.